a dear friend of mine, Raymond. Raymond is a an entrepreneur, tech entrepreneur, investor in technology from Montreal. Very active guy, really busy life, a lot of different interests. Raymond has a beautiful office on Peel Street in Montreal. And a lot of room in this office, a lot of natural light, beautiful walls, but pretty boring and empty walls, actually. Right, Raymond? Yes, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I told you. Um, so Raymond has been thinking about actually putting art on his walls. So he thought, how can I find art? Well, the thing is that he doesn't really know any artists, he doesn't really know the gallery system, he wouldn't really know where to go to find great art. So what happened? The walls are just empty and they will stay and remain empty. What Raymond has the time to do every single day is to go to Starbucks where he can get his coffee, <laughs> where he can get his latte. And his latte is being served by Tanya every single day. What Raymond doesn't know is that Tanya is actually a photographer. But Tanya, as many artists, works in a coffee shop five days a week instead of creating art. So what happens with Tanya's art? Is it in the gallery? No, it's not, unfortunately. It's not because it's not good enough. It's just that she's so busy working five days a week at the Starbucks that she doesn't really have time to put her work up there in the gallery. So her work is stored in her closet, under the bed, behind the couch, at her studio, at friend's house, so anywhere where it could actually be making any type of money. So here we are with two people. We have Ray, fictional character, and we have Tenya. Ray wants art, wants cheap art, affordable art, art but he wouldn't pay $5,000 to get a, a piece of art as a first-time investor in the art scene. And Tenya has a lot of art. She has affordable art, but what she lacks is a place to actually get some exposure, to make a name for herself. So how can we connect these two people? So what we thought was that we can connect these two people by providing them with an affordable, flexible platform where they can actually meet each other. Hence, where people like Ray can browse and find art, and where Tanya can actually showcase her artwork. <laughs> um, yeah, so she can take her work that is in the closet and put it into customers' hands. So here we are, with Art Anywhere, a local online gallery where people, artists, can showcase their art to businesses and individuals that are interested in renting <coughs> art. So we're not only another online gallery, what we actually want to do is create a whole a worldwide community of people interested in supporting their local artists and bringing that creativity and that innovation back into the mainstream. <clears throat> so let me ask you a question because it's not interactive enough, I think. So who here has walls? Everybody. <laughs> Empty, boring walls. Come on, don't be shy. We all have them. Okay. Who would be interested in giving this wall a little facelift? for less money than what you actually spend on lattes every month, or Coke, or gin and tonic, whatever. <laughs> okay, so I think we have a potential market here. So let me tell you what you will be able to do from September 2009. You will take 10 minutes out of your busy schedule. You could um, think and envision a great piece of art that could really enhance your space, your living room, your office. It could be a picture of a blue dress lady, it could be a, a yellow painting. I'll leave that up to you. You will log on to artanywhere.com and browse for art based on criteria that you establish in your current location in your city. Then I know you'll find something you love, a piece of art that is great. You'll put it in your cart and then you'll check out by adding about $30 per piece per month onto your credit card as a recurring fee. And then you're going to sit back and relax while Tanya will come soon and deliver that piece of art in your home or in your office and install it for you. And there you are. Yeah, you can see that my Photoshop skills are not uh, really where they should be. But, you know, that's a piece of art. <laughs> so what do you get for $30 a month? You get great art style and meaning to your walls. You get rotating art without too much commitment, as I know 
He told me many men don't really like commitment. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and you also, I'm sorry, you also get a, a great education, art education, for you to become a great collector. So we're looking for renters, looking for artists. I'm here tonight. I'm here at Starting Drinks tomorrow. Buy me a drink. I'll tell you more. <laughs>